What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to look at what is quite possibly the most important weapon stat that you want to be paying attention to when building your class setups, and this is bullet velocity. Since launch, I've had quite a few people tweeting me clips about apparent hit detection issues where it looks like the hit detection just sucks. They're shooting right at a target, or at least it looks like they're shooting right at a target, and none of the shots are registering. And in most of these cases, I don't believe it's actually a connection issue. Not that there aren't any connection issues, I'm sure there are sometimes. But I strongly feel, most of the time, this is actually directly related to the bullet velocity of your gun, not your connection. And I've noticed this a lot while playing as well. If I'm using a gun with a super low bullet velocity, like the Milano 821 for instance, and if I'm not using any attachments that boost my bullet velocity, it feels terrible. It feels like I'm on a bad connection, even when I'm not. When I switch to a different gun or I switch attachments, suddenly everything improves. And just to show you guys what this actually looks like, the difference in bullet velocity here, let's look at the Milano. The Milano is one of the guns with the lowest bullet velocity in the game at just 225 meters per second. And this is what it looks like shooting at an enemy here at about 50 meters. And you can see just how long it takes from the moment I fire the gun to the moment it actually registers a hit. It's quite a long time. That's a big delay between firing and getting a hit marker back. Also, there is a bit of bullet drop here as well, and it's noticeable bullet drop. If I want to hit him in the head, for instance, I have to aim a little bit above his head. And like I said, this is only at 50 meters. You could realistically be challenging people beyond 50 meters, and therefore it's only going to get worse than this. Now, let's contrast that with the same gun, but this time I'm using an attachment that boosts our bullet velocity by 100%, so it doubles our bullet velocity. And as you can see here, that shot is registering much, much faster. And on top of this, at this range at least, you don't have to aim above their head in order to hit them in the head. You can just aim directly at it. And this right here is going to directly affect your impression of the hit detection in-game. The lower the bullet velocity is, the worse your connection is going to feel, even if it isn't actually worse. And I do find this to be a little bit frustrating, the way they decided to balance this, and the reason they're going with such low bullet velocities, which are significantly slower than in real life, for instance, is I think they're trying to balance out the SMGs without adding too much recoil to them. So they want the SMGs to have super low bullet velocities, so they're just not effective at longer ranges, or not very effective, like they were in the beta. But I disagree with this. I don't think that's the right way to go because it's going to lead people to think that the hit detection is worse than it actually is. And it's going to make people feel like they're playing on a bad connection, which isn't a good thing. Instead, I think they would have been much better off either adding more recoil to the SMGs to make sure they're not as effective at longer ranges, or simply add another damage drop off so it takes an extra shot to kill at the really long ranges so they'll be less effective against assault rifles, for instance. Both of those, in my opinion, would have been far better solutions to handling SMGs and balancing them properly with assault rifles, because as it is right now, it really does feel terrible if you are using a gun that has a really low bullet velocity. But that is just my opinion. I'd like to hear from you guys. What do you think about the fact that our bullet velocity is so slow in this game? It's way slower than Modern Warfare, and it's way slower than a bullet would actually travel in real life. What do you think about this? Do you think they should have gone this route? Or do you agree with me? Do you think they should have instead added another damage drop off or increased the recoil for SMGs in order to maintain that better balance? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.